What's up, people? Wait. Meet Josh Fabia. I'm going to hit him. Not home. But I'm going to hit him in a way that he would recognize it and it would be real like, like everybody else would hit you. Why would they hit you? Because they got emotionally angry. And now when they hit you, it's ugly. And he wants to hit me back. He's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> because, because it's ugly. It's like sharp. And it's like that thing that I just said, if I'm massaging him like this, it feels like a rape. I'm, I'm intruding his space, and that's what just happened. But because I did it, and I, I was tarnished with negative energy, it transmits. Now watch. Here's love. Much heavier hit. What do you feel? You want I feel? Yeah. Uh, Nothing. Because love. This situation is just so like uniquely bizarre and that's really why I want to talk about it. If you don't know, Diego Sanchez is a fucking living legend of the UFC. He was the winner of the very first season of The Ultimate Fighter. Dude's a very different type of cat, like very different. And inside the cage, he's known for just aggression, heart, brutality, violence. I mean, I'm talking from both ends of the exchanges, you know? He takes it as hard as he gives it. He's a fucking living legend, bro. Like, what can I say? Like, he really is. For whatever reason, about three years ago, Diego is suddenly not part of a gym, not part of a team, like anything. In fact, he suddenly didn't have anyone around him at all, except for this one guy, Joshua Fabia. This guy is Diego's coach, trainer, nutritionist, massage therapist, like all of this stuff. I mean, logistically, like one person cannot do the job of about like 10, 10 people. I mean, he's his, did I mention manager yet? Yeah, he's his coach, he's his, he's his head trainer, he's his fucking manager, like how? And why? You would think that Josh himself, if he really wanted to help Diego, would be calling in more personnel. Like, why does it have to be only you? You would have to have superpowers to do this shit. I forgot. He does have superpowers. I mean, basically, he understands everything about everything. He knows exactly why you're unwell or unhappy, and he knows exactly how to fix it. And apparently he has the ability to succeed at any profession he wants at any given time. Multiple professions at once. So yeah, he does have superpowers. It's pretty cool, right? And I mean, on top of the 10 jobs he's doing for Diego Sanchez, he has something called the School of Self-Awareness. And it's amazing. Oh, what is it? Let's let him tell us. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, I was gonna ask you to get in more detail about the School of Self-Awareness and, and, and sell it on to the people that don't know about it and, and what they can learn by going on the website. So give me a little breakdown of what, 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 what you have on there and, and why people should go. I'll, I'll, I'll do it for Diego. Go I'll ahead, it a go ahead, easier. yeah, definitely. The first thing to understand is I'm not teaching martial arts. So a lot of number one misunderstandings are that. Hey guys, I'm gonna help you get through this interview or this response to one question. Eh. So the second part of this study is movement. How well do you move? Are you moving against your body mechanics? Great question, yeah. So I took some notes. Let me help uh, fill in all the blanks here. Uh, he's talking about, he talks about breathing and how you never got taught to breathe. That's why you suck. Is why you see men building shit all around us in a phallic shape. Just one of many amazing irrelevant points he makes. Uh, yeah, you suck at sports because you don't know how to breathe. You never had a chance. Uh... And that's what I'm saying is, why are we in a world of believing the experts that are in the business of playing expert, no different than YouTube expert because I said it because I'm 20 years old and I know how to finger fuck the computer and I know the the <laughs> the the tag words and the this and the like it's so stupid. Yeah, so he's he's the only real expert in the world and he's mad about it. I mean, who can blame him like So 
<clears throat> we just had so many different developments of linear stuff in martial arts in the past 25 years so a bunch of people can get their name said very few people are complete martial artists anymore and um that's where like you see this thing happening because of the internet because of what's being seen yeah that's dumb okay uh yeah breathing culture hates breathing wim hof him and some guy named Battelle are awesome he says he trained such and such national champs. Diego style has always been shitty. All the fighters in the UFC suck. All the coaches and trainers suck. Jackson Wink sucks. That's why everybody has a lazy eye at Jackson Wink. Uh, keeping your hands up is good. Uh, what did I miss? Yeah, I think that's pretty much. So Diego, I hit Diego 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day I hit him. Okay, that's weird. And, you know, everybody's worried about Diego. That's why. Talks about how good Dustin Poirier is. Um, hold on, this is funny. He, like, talks about how everybody in the UFC sucks, and then he's like, oh, but that guy in the UFC last night totally didn't suck. Like, let's listen. Pretty sure I kept that part. I'm dealing with a 39-year-old. He's only been finished four times. And one of them's, uh, you know, like, a fake fight. Come on. To a special needs kid. Like... This is be real here. Special needs kid. I looked at Diego's record. I couldn't figure out who he's referring to as a special needs kid. These these finishes on a guy that's 39 versus these young guys are getting finished like that. One little tap and they're going down. Why? No, I'm being real though, man. You got to see this. And this is why the feeder system's got to be ready there with more guys because they're not lasting and they're not lasting because they're all action and their fundamentals aren't all there. The guy that fought Woodley last night, his fundamentals were clean as shit. He, his guard was so good. Like he was good. You know, everybody else's fundamentals are shit. That's why they're getting knocked out. Let's see. USADA is not real. Judges suck. Refs suck. Uh, fights are scripted. All the coaches suck. Flip the rig. Hmm. Well, isn't it interesting that it's pandemic? Um, global situation. First time in history, the whole world is put on one thing, right? And somehow UFC is able to function six months ahead of time. But just like Trump, he had the Arabs build it. That, that's interesting. And um, do you think that the Arabs got a good deal out of that with UFC Arabia on the backdrop. That's it. Okay, so basically he has insight to business dealing somehow. Uh, Disney is evil. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now. Ain't no way Dana's putting a million dollars on fucking aspirin. I kept that in there because that's the one statement I agree with. I don't think that Dana White really put a million dollars uh, on aspirin. Get it straight, Mike. And this is what's happening is... That's where he tells Mike Swick to get it straight. Uh, gyms suck. You're Some gonna be walking in fucking Albertsons, man. And you're going to run into one of these guys. And you don't know. You don't know what kind of day they had. And you bump shoulders. You don't know what might happen. Yeah, so he's just saying that... There's a whole lot of these people that are Listen unsatisfied in life. Women. women with new scars on their face that people are like, what happened to you? Oh, I was a fighter. What the fuck was that? What was that weird smirk? <sighs> I think he's almost done. Remember, this was one question. This timer is absolutely accurate. We're at 45 minutes. One question. Look at all his posturing and his fucking bullshit. He's so fucking annoying. Oh my fucking God. I mean, that tells you what's going on, right? So school itself is trying to solve these problems with you first. Mm -hmm. And it believes that one person can change the world when you start with yourself. That's it, man. Hmm. Well, I don't know about you, but that sounded like a whole lot of fucking horse shit.
so we definitely got one of these new age gurus on our hands but okay that's not the worst thing in the world i mean obviously the guy is an arrogant prick selling new age bullshit, but maybe his practice is you know legit maybe it has some basic health benefits and as long as he's not mistreating his clients you know aside from filling their ears with drivel uh you know maybe they feel a benefit that is worth whatever they pay him that's not really something to scoff at you know maybe roll your eyes but there's just so much demand for you know the answers to life's hard questions relief from life's suffering where there's demand there will be supply you know what i mean and there's gonna be you know smarmy little people like him like selling the dream you know, the people that buy into it, it is their decision, you know, Diego included. I don't know if he's stealing from his clients or brainwashing them in any sort of like destructive way. And like I said, there's probably at least some physical benefits with like the movement and the yoga and the whatnot. And, you know, who knows, maybe he genuinely helps some people. The question is, is he helping Diego Sanchez? Once again, we cannot see behind the curtain as to what their relationship is really like on a day-to-day -day basis. And we don't know what their financial situation is. They got this retirement fight booked. So, I mean, maybe the guy really can be a manager. Although we don't know what kind of deal he negotiated. One of the reasons I'm trying to be careful not to jump to conclusions about you know this guy's practice like what type of stuff he offers is because like i definitely don't get it i don't understand the allure of this guy at all he's supposed to be mr enlightened and yet he's extremely fucking negative and he also talks so fucking much to make this video i watched all of the full interviews with him and Diego. I rewatched Section several times. It was not pleasurable. Like after a few minutes of listening to this guy, I, I started feeling ill. Like he aggressively demands attention just in order to talk a whole bunch of just hooey until he could figure out some way to hobble it together into some kind of point that he delivers as if it's like, so mind-blowing and then he just jumps back into more fucking hooey until he can make another fucking huge like amazing point out of that that's interesting and he just does that over and over and all his points suck they're either obvious or just fucking nonsensical and all this shit he talks in between is just word vomit it's so annoying oh my god but okay i don't want to fucking care about this guy okay the list of people that i want to punch in the face is full up as it is fuck this guy right but i do care about diego which is why it's so tricky right because you look at the situation there's no denying that this relationship is a source of happiness or something for diego and once again like who knows what's really going on we don't have insight behind the curtain and maybe josh is a really good friend to diego like i fucking doubt it but i'm just saying we don't know who knows but i'll tell you what he is not good at he's not a fighter he's not an expert on fighting and he's definitely not an effective coach for a fighter the matchups have been really difficult like granted but he really didn't look good man and <laughs> dude it's funny you can literally see diego like clearly thinking way too hard about his breathing during the fight like while he's getting pieced up you know because this guy is so into breathing you know he's like he's like fucking thinks he's a genius because he pays a whole bunch of attention to breathing it's like how about this for a philosophy like don't think about your breathing you know maybe the body knows how to breathe appropriately for the given situation like oh my god i am enlightened one thing that i'm so fucking happy to hear is that diego's training at att for this fight i just pray that it's not too little too late because Cowboy is not on his BMF ranch fucking learning magic 
defensive bullshit, you know? He's training. And I hope that Diego is being properly prepared for a fight because I am sickened by the arrogance of this Josh guy and that he sent Diego into his recent fights with nothing useful. Diego is a true, true UFC legend, dude. And this last fight, like, it's such a great matchup. It's such a great fight. It's so great that he's retiring. He sounds so lucid. He sounds ready to retire. It's a perfect last fight, perfect opponent. And I just want to see him on form for his final fight. But I, you know, I'm worried. I'm fucking worried. One quote that really disturbed me uh, from Diego in the interview was this. It's been three hard, long years working with Joshua Fabia on revamping my whole entire style to learn how to defend myself and strike properly. That to me is concerning because that sounds like three years of digression and just fucking up Diego's talent. And that sucks. That is concerning. Sending someone into a fight unprepared just because you're so fucking egocentric, you think that you can just be a really great MMA coach. That's criminal. And th this guy clearly thinks he's, he's the real deal. I have a horrible feeling about this guy. I really do. He knows that he doesn't fucking know what he's talking about. And, and this is different. This isn't a bunch of divorced women fucking having midlife crises and, and doing stretches and stuff. Like, this guy's going into a cage to fucking fight. Like, I just hope it ends with justice being served. Because I think that Diego has a really bright future. He's uh, starring in a film uh, that Mickey Rourke is producing or directing. Or I looked into the uh, person that he's playing. It's a, it's a, it's a biopic, and it seems like just such a great role for him. Of course, he'll have opportunities, man. I mean, this guy is—he's got the respect of like the world, basically. It's a bright future for Diego Sanchez, but this guy is a fucking problem. This Josh guy is a is a problem and I really hope that he gets dealt with and and soon. So that's all I got for now. Peace.